So what is sexy to you? Like it's a four letter word that we love to share. We love to think about. We love to imagine. We love to, you know, curiously want to know more. But what does sexy really mean to you? Today is day 67 of our 90 day quest to improve on confidence, communication, charisma, community, fun, flirting, and friendship. I'm Jacqueline Nichols and our daily quest continues. And so yesterday I was talking about what kind of energy you are attracting, the people that are drawn to you, who is looking at you and taking a double take to get to know you. And today I was thinking about how that energy that they're noticing, you know, is it just the color of your hair, the curve of your body, your height, your energy? What is it? And I was thinking that a lot of it is the sexiness. And I think a lot of people don't even know that they have sexy energy because we're all attracted to such different aspects on the opposite or the same sex. We just have something about that energy. And there are people that have no clue that they give off this sexy aura. And then there's other people that overdo it <laughs> to the point where you're like, ew, gross, you were burning my eyes, it's too much. You know, so I wanna talk about this and I wanna get your feedback and your perspective. I have certain things I say to people all the time. I have a thing about men's wrists. That's just one of my weaknesses. I have literally seen a gorgeous wrist across the room and I have made my way there to tell someone. Now, a nice, beautiful watch will help draw me in. So men, I do recommend that. If wrists are something that you have that is nice and strong and solid, add a very good watch and you will notice attraction. I was talking to one of my wonderful gal friends and she loves the forearm on someone. And so when she's dating a lady, she enjoys that. And so it's really neat to kind of see what we notice. I definitely think there are boobs and butt people. And I think there's people that love long hair and love short hair people that love bald, people that love skinny, people that love curves, and years of matching people. I have definitely gotten to a place where there really isn't any, this is sexy, this isn't sexy. There's appropriate and inappropriate, but so often we get too caught up in comparing ourselves and wondering why we're not getting the reaction that maybe a friend is getting, but it's not so much about where their curves are. It's more about how they project their energy. I do have to say, every time I read a profile and someone says they have curves in all the right places, that exudes charisma and confidence in their communication. And when somebody is proud of their body image, it is so attractive. I ask men and I ask women what they're attracted to. And there is a lot to just when you see someone walk by, there is something very sexy in how they carry themselves. When someone knows how to walk in a sexy way, that captures you. There's a confidence. When I'm out with somebody and they put all their energy into rolling their shoulders forward, their hands are always kind of tight and pulled in. I'm not attracted to that. I want strong and confident in how they hold themselves. It's not how much they can bench, you know, the weight. It's about how they carry themselves. And so I want to hear from you. What is it that gets you to turn your head? What is it that catches your attention? One of my favorite things to do is to go out with a client, sit up at a fun bar, and then just look at people. Like totally do the construction worker look. Now, no cat calling, but it's so nice to go, yeah, I really like the way she put herself together. I like how he did his outfit. I like how she smiles and radiates. I love her giggle. If we don't always know anybody that fast because they just walked by, sometimes a conversation brews, but I want you to tell me what catches you, what turns your head, what makes you gasp in your breath. Like, what is it? You know, some people really like that defined jaw. Some people small nose. Some people like long fingernails. Some people don't. It was funny. I was talking to one of my clients once and we were chatting about, uh, with a few other people about how I always have really 
do my nails long. And he was so funny. He's like, well, I'm not attracted to long nails. And I said, that's awesome because I want you attracted to me. And we laughed really hard. And I was like, that's so great because we don't want everyone to be attracted to us. He was a client. That's where I was excited to be able to go, okay, now we want to look for women that don't like long nails. It's just certain things. Like obviously there's certain deal breakers and non-negotiations. And that when we do open ourselves up and realize our set list, maybe it's because it reminds of us of our first love, our high school sweetheart a fling we had uh, out of the country, romantic moments, some movie star that we're attracted to. We all have certain triggers and it's usually related to some type of history we have experienced. But where you are right now, the age you're at, the relationship status you're at, I wanna know what turns your connection. I know a lot of people love it when a woman's playing with her hair, but I have to say too, a guy playing with his hair is pretty sexy. So what is it that exudes that sexy energy for you? Some people, it's all about intellect. When they start using really big words and they have a way of understanding, maybe it's the political climate, they understand what's going on in the world, they actually have a perspective on life, you know, they've read books that you are interested in, it's that articulate energy that attracts you, that that sexiness, once you start hearing them talk, some people, you know, they melt for an accent, they melt for passion, desire, intrigue. So I want to know, there's something about it when you just carry a certain energy. It was a handful of weeks ago, I was out with a friend and I'd been having this just rocking week. I was feeling very sexy. I was feeling very confident. I had all these great communication and charisma buzzing in me. And even though she wasn't there yet, I walked into this restaurant with so much exuding energy that I noticed all these people turning and I didn't realize I was doing I was just feeling great and this gentleman stopped me to tell me that the energy I brought in the moment I walked in the door threw him off and he just had to say something and it was very genuine and very sweet but it also was very true I felt really great now, if I walked into that room, completely with a different attitude, same body, same hair, same clothing and makeup, but I wasn't feeling awesome, nobody would have noticed. So I want to hear from you, what is it that turns your head? Where's that sexy energy that you either exude or that you are attracted to? Let's keep this conversation going. So like, share, subscribe, and uh, comment below because I want to learn from you. Let's keep the conversation happening again tomorrow because you know I'm going to have lots more to talk about. Talk to you soon.